Today I'm going to show you how to create this trippy 3D transition effect. I first discovered this effect in his post by Dirk Coy, before discovering Alfie Dwyer, who further exploits his technique and reaches new heights of dizzying madness. However, this video will focus on a simple transition, like in Dirk Coy's example. The central concept underlying this effect is called projection mapping, which involves mapping out different surfaces of a three-dimensional object in order to project a 2D image or video onto it. In Blender, add a cube, scale it up, and delete three of its faces. Tab into edit mode and subdivide the surfaces. I chose six cuts. Then I will pick one of the surfaces and start extruding the faces. I suggest creating a sort of staircase, extruding less and less as you move from row to row. Let's set up the camera. In the Output Properties tab, I'm going to set the resolution to 1080 by 1080 as I want to work with a square aspect ratio. In the Camera Object Properties, zero all the properties except the z-axis. Then go to Object Data Properties and switch the camera's type to Orthographic. Adjust the Orthographic scale until the staircase takes up the camera's field of view. To orbit the camera around our cube, add an empty plane axis. Make sure it is located at the origin of your staircase. Select the camera, then shift select the empty plane axes, and pair them together. By adjusting the rotation properties of the empty plane axes, we can now orbit the camera around the staircase. Set a rotation keyframe at the current position, then move a few seconds along the timeline and change the Y rotation to 90 degrees. You can also keyframe the Z rotation of the camera for some extra movement in the animation. I also suggest keyframing the X axis of the empty by 45 degrees to make the transition more visibly 3D. Create a material, select Emission Surface and an Image Texture, and import the image of your choice. Switch to the UV Editing tab. Make sure the camera is set in its first position, and go to the Camera View. Select all the visible faces. Unfortunately, you may need to select them all individually, as using the Circle tool or any other method will select unwanted faces. Once all selected, press the shortcut U to access the UV Mapping menu, and select Project from View. We've now perfectly projected our image onto the staircase surface from this viewpoint. Back in the Layout tab, move the playhead to the camera's second position. Go back to UV Editing and repeat the same steps as before to project our image onto this second surface. And that's how you create a simple projection mapping transition. Last note, you may want to zoom in by adjusting the orthographic scale to avoid seeing the background. Subscribe for more tutorials and creative experiments, or you can follow me on Instagram to see them there as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.